What's up guys, H of Masters here today with another Bionicle review, this time on Skull Basher. So, first things first, taking a look at the box, ages 7 to 14, item number 70793, 72 pieces on the back. We just have a picture of Skull Basher, the combo, the comic, and it shows off the functions. So now we'll go ahead and open this. Right, so as with all of the new Wave 2 sets, they come with this infected mask. So this is the uh, infected slash corrupted mask of Earth. It goes from trans purple to gold over here. So you can just pop Onua's mask off. And that's what it looks like on Onua. Um, it does seem pretty out of place to me, but at the same time, it does somewhat work with this color scheme because it has this purple. So now we'll go ahead and move on to Skull Basher. All right, so here is Skull Basher all built up. And first thing, he is a really good looking set. So basically, the one thing that I'm going to say right off the bat, this is probably one of the best mocking sets of this wave, if not the best, because it has a lot of very useful parts. It has four of these brand new um, armor pieces. It has trans purple, which we don't have a lot of, so a lot of people are going to be excited about that. And it has these weapon molds along with the new masks. So this is a pretty good parts scrap for you mockers out there. So, taking a look at the set, first things first, let's start off with the functions. So the first function, along with all the other sets, you pop the eye stock here, and the mask will pop off. But it is slightly different, There, there is other ways that you can do this. Like with the horns here, you can just kind of poke these horns up, and then the mask will come off again. However, some people aren't going to like that because these horns are huge. Like on Skull Grinder, he also has horns, but they aren't anywhere near as big. These ones are huge. So I could see someone just kind of bumping the horns by accident and the mask coming off. All right, so the next function for Skull Basher is on the back here, you can see he has this thing. There are two things you can do. You can do this and these will move his arms side by side or you can push this and it'll make his arms come forward. So it kind of looks like this from the front. And this is interesting because all the other sets don't have a function like this. This is one of the only sets not actually to use the gearbox. So I'm happy to see that, you know, they tried to branch out here and add something new. I'm not sure if I like this as much as the Gearbox, but I think it's good and it definitely brings in a whole lot more for mockers out there because you can actually have these two armor plates up here, which you couldn't do with the Gearbox. So some people are really going to like that and some people aren't. Also another thing that you, if you wanted to do, that you could do, you could take Onua here and you can rip off this mask using the sort of new kind of axe piece and that's really nice because you know lego didn't have to make the molds that way it's nice to see that they went out of their way to just give us a mold that you know you can rip the mask off to add for the playability for the set so that's nice to see also another thing you do you can pop this mask off here and you can put on this corrupted slash infected um mask of earth and you know this is another really nice thing it's just kind of a nice complimentary item that you can get it doesn't look very good. I don't think it should look very good on Skull Basher. But you know, it's nice to see that they added that. So overall, Skull Basher, he's an interesting set. I can see why, you know, some people are going to like him. Because, you know, he's got a lot of things going for him. But I can also see, you know, where people aren't going to like it with these giant horns making it much easier to pop the mask off. And some people aren't going to be a fan of the of this function because, you know, the function is going to be a little bit bad for posability because these are, it's kind of loose. So, you know, some people are going to have trouble with posability and, you know, some people aren't going to like that. But overall, as a set, this is a very good set. It stacks up pretty well and I think it'll fit in very well with the rest of the wave. So let me know what you guys think about Skull Basher in the comments below. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.